So while the nation is focused on inflation, COVID, and where the economy is going, there is something much bigger lurking beneath the surface, and that's a population crash. Elon Musk tweeted about it yesterday, saying we should be much more worried about population collapse. Now, I think he's right. U.S. birth rates fell by 4% in 2020 with the most recent data we've gotten, and there are some serious economic implications to all of this. I want to bring uh, in David Bonson uh, from the Bonson Group. You know, David, uh, you're a brilliant guy when it comes to the markets, but I love your social thing thinking and how you connect the, the economy and, and, and those kind of things. I've been worried about this for a long time. I look at what happened in Japan. I see the, the scramble that China has. I see what's happening with Europe. It's a real serious problem, and I don't think enough people are paying attention. No, and all of those countries that you mentioned have one thing in common. What preceded their population decline, their, their uh, decreasing birth rates, was an increase in secularism was an increase in humanism that seeks to strip God out of society and out of public life. And so if that's the way American culture is going to go, to increasingly remove ourselves from our indisputably Judeo-Christian ethic, then declining birth rates will follow. It's both culturally and demographically inevitable. And as you point out, it's economically tragic. I think there's even worse ramifications than what it means to economic growth. Yeah. Hey, you wrote the book on investing uh, and, and dividends. Uh, and, and of course, you have the Dividend Cafe, which I enjoy a lot. They're, they're outperforming really nicely. Just share some of your thoughts on that and where maybe people should be right now. Well, first, let me address the outperformance issue. They are doing very, very well right now, and there's this sort of seasonality to where dividend growth is outperforming um, large cap growth and other non-dividend paying things. But see, there's seasons where it can be the opposite too. Our belief is not in trying to time when it's outperforming or when it's not. It's in the permanent belief that over longer periods of time, companies that return cash to shareholders perform better than companies that don't. And we have a lot of historical data to back that up. Uh, right now though, I think with high valuations, with the um, cost of credit so manipulated by the Fed, you've had a great right. day in the sun for high PE stocks, and now people are turning to dividend growth, higher quality, and just more dependable, repeatable performance right. in terms of cash flow. And it's a pretty good place to hide out right now. I got, I'm going to give you 20 seconds. President Biden holding a rare press conference. If you could ask a question, what would it be? Oh, I, you, there's so many things I'd like to talk to him about. Uh, but my questions I'd want to talk to him about privately and respectfully, namely, can you please, please let American energy independence come back into the administration? American energy, there's no reason for him to be doing what he's doing. Yeah, I mean, it, it's backfired miserably. And ironically, every, they've got more plans on the drawing board to make it even harder. That was one, one heck of a miracle for our country uh, in, in more ways than one. David, always appreciate it. I wish we had more time, my friend. We'll talk again real soon.